We are going to hear about animals that like to sleep during the winter in a story called The Mitten. Can you remember what we call that when animals sleep during the winter? Hibernation. Can you all say that for me? Hibernation. Well done. The story is called The Mitten. Here is a pair of mittens. We put them on our hands to keep our hands warm when it's very, very, very cold. In our story, the animals find a mitten and they all crawl into it to keep cozy and warm. Let's see what happens. One day, a mole found a mitten in the snow and climbed inside. Along came a rabbit. Make room for me, said the rabbit. And they wiggled and waggled until the mitten was big enough for the two of them. Along came a hedgehog. Make room for me, said the hedgehog. And they wiggled and waggled until the mitten was big enough for all three of them. Along came an owl. Make room for me, said the owl. And they wiggled and waggled until the mitten was big enough for all four of them. Along came a badger. Make room for me, said the badger. And they wiggled and waggled until the mitten was big enough for all five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Along came a fox. Please make room for me. And they wiggled and waggled until the mitten was big enough for all six of them. Oh, that mitten's starting to look a little bit squashed, isn't it? Along came a bear. Please make room for me, said the bear. And they wiggled and they waggled until the mitten was big enough for all seven of them. Along came a tiny little mouse. Please make room for me, said the mouse. And they wiggled and they waggled until the mitten was big enough for all eight of them. But uh-oh, do you know what happened next? Something started itching the bear's nose. And next minute, the bear gave a huge achoo sneeze. And all of the eight animals fell out of the mitten and they all decided to go home to their own nice cozy homes. The end. Okay, can you remember which animals found the mitten? Let's see if we can. The first one was a mole. Can you see those front paws of the mole? They use them like shovels to dig their burrows deep down into the ground. Then there was rabbit. This is called a snow rabbit. And look, it's as white as the snow so that its enemies can't see it. Then it was hedgehog. Do you remember Miss Madubu told you about the hedgehog spines that were like little prickles? Then it was owl. This owl's looking quite grumpy, isn't it? Then it was a badger. A badger also digs, digs burrows deep down under the ground and that's where they sleep during the winter. Then it was a fox. This fox is called a red fox. And then it was the bear. Here's a mommy bear with her baby bear cubs. Miss Howard's going to tell you more about the, the bears tomorrow. And then it was the tiny little mouse. A mouse also goes to sleep during winter. Wow, we've learned about lots of animals today, haven't we? Do you think you can go and tell your mommies and daddies and grannies and grandpas all about the animals that you've learned today? I think you can.